Hey everyone, C. Wilson here, and today I'm going to talk about the best drawing apps on Samsung Galaxy and Android tablets. Also, don't forget, if you enjoy my content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't subbed already, definitely make sure you do that as well, and hit the bell notification icon, that way you'll be notified when I drop new content, and share this video with those that you think will be helpful for. It really helps my channel grow. So starting in no particular order, I'll start with Ibis Paint. Ibis Paint is an app that I truly don't understand that doesn't get as much, uh, I would say, notoriety as the other apps that are on the Play Store. It's an app that's jam-packed to the brim with features. And you can enjoy this for free, but you have to watch an advertised commercial in order to unlock majority of the brushes, or you can pay $8.99 to unlock everything. One of the best features of this app is that you can automatically have time lapse recorded for you. This means that when you start drawing, it automatically picks up that way when you go back. You can watch what you were doing and how you were drawing it. This is very helpful because without having, without having to actually click a button to do this, it's already on for you from the start. Also, there's a handful of features that have been added in the 8.1.0 update. They're very helpful both for light photography editing, such as the color changing pen that helps changes the subject eye color or hair color, and the liquify pen. This actually allows you to change a person's shape or the face shape or an illustration's face shape as well. There's even the new tools that help artists like the new S Pen Lasso Fill that easily allows you to fill in shadows using layer clipping. And one of my personal favorites is the new Fine Edges filter that lets you convert actual pictures to line art or well, actual background pictures to line art. It really is useful for those that struggle with creating wonderful backgrounds that are complex. And this is more for a manga user versus someone who is a uh, trying to um, create just typical art and illustration so yeah these are some great features that they've added and as well as some new brushes that they've added as well but I tend to stick to my usual set of brushes so I have an experiment with those I typically tend to use Ibis for sketching out quick ideas okay and with that I'll let this drawing play out to the end before moving on to the next application but of course this will be sped up more and you're more than welcome to jump ahead so next up is my personal favorite clip studio paint it is finally not exclusive to samsung users and is now on the Google Play Store for download and comes with updated features that I'll get into in a little bit. But first I want to mention this app, sadly enough, is a monthly subscription app, which really sucks. Galaxy users get six months for free, while Play Store users get three months for free. And this app can be used one hour per day for, in all honesty, I believe that they should link it if you have the desktop version I believe that should unlock everything for both Android and iOS, but I guess they want to go with the monthly subscription, which kind of sucks, but it still doesn't deter from this being one of my personal favorite apps. So with that aside, you get some new features now that you're able to record time lapse. You do have to go into the settings and enable it before you start drawing. And as well as now you can import Photoshop brushes, but results will definitely vary as they're working on this constantly. Also, you can do animations in Clip Studio Paint just as you can on the desktop. This is basically the full featured version of Clip Studio Paint. Now I've even did the intro to this video using Clip Studio Paint and as well as doing the voices and recording my voice and editing that in Clip Studio Paint as well. This is a very useful tool and I can't speak on it enough because it's, it's really great. It's easy flowing. You can use the cloud sync to actually start drawing on some of your drawings that you have in the cloud store for Clip Studio. 
and move it over to Android, which is very helpful because that continuity or fluidity, as I would say, moving through both of it, it develops a great little ecosystem to help you with smoother, easier transporting of drawings rather than having to download and move them through something like Google Drive or OneDrive. So overall, Clip Studio is one of my favorite apps on Android and its familiarity and ability to bring my work from my Surface Book over is quite stellar as well. And just like I said before, I'll speed this part up to the end of the drawing to go on to the next app. And you are more than welcome to skip ahead. to the last app on my list which is infinite painter this is another partially free app that you only can draw one layer if you do not purchase the uh, app which costs $7.99 to unlock everything and that is currently as of right now I do believe they're running a 20% off sale but I'm relatively new to infinite painter but as soon as you open infinite painter up it's basically a canvas that allows you to draw express all your ideas it's so simple and easy to understand. The brushes are there, going through it, cycling through all the different brushes and just drawing, it comes, it actually is just supernatural with it. One thing I would notice about Infinite Painter when using it is it actually gives me the feeling of using Procreate. So if there was an app that someone was looking for where they wanted it to somewhat be similar to Procreate, I would say Infinite Painter is the app to get and it's fairly simple to use easy to understand and it just kind of gets out of your way and lets you do the drawing so those are my top drawing apps for samsung and android tablets towards the end of 2020. now keep in mind we all are different artists and we use these apps differently so you may use the apps that i listed or even other apps differently as long as you enjoy drawing with them that's all that matters and matter of fact drop a comment on which apps you use and how you use them that being said if you enjoyed the content go ahead give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified when i drop new content and i'll go ahead and let this video play out to the very end so with that being said peace